The engine is the big unknown. Today I'm going to clean it up and have a look at it. This is the elephant in the room. I was determined not to uh, touch it until I had more of the uh, bits on the frame. Putting bits on the frames, boring. Cleaning parts and painting them, boring. I've already made a few videos on that score. So this morning I am going to try and clean some of the shit off the top of this motor and polish it up a bit and then mount it in my timber engine jig move towards seeing what it will take to get it started. After about an hour of scratching away at the muck that was on here and certainly half a shovel full of crap I've filled up been using the vacuum to suck a lot of it away at least you can start to see the aluminium because uh, you know even in areas like this there's still quite a bit of crap on the surface there I don't know at what point I'll resort to using degreaser and get it wet I'm uh, avoiding doing that at the moment uh, I'm going to take it out and try a bit of compressed air on it to see what that shifts but uh, yeah it's, it's quite a uh, job cleaning this off I'd like to get it back almost to a, a clear aluminium brushed finish here's a clue as to where all the oil that was over here has come from I just rolled the motor over onto its left hand side so that it sat on this section from here through to here had this uh, overhanging the table and instantly a whole heap of oil ran out this end of the crankcase seal it flooded my uh, piece of cardboard here so quite a bit of oil ran out from the seal on the end of the crankshaft here and that would probably explain why there was so much oil flung up over the top of the engine here that this crankcase seal is shot. I was hoping just to tip it over onto this side so that I could have a look at the bottom of the engine but I need to uh, catch that oil as it pours out so I'll get some sort of tray under there. More than a litre of oil has run out of that crankshaft seal in no time at all. I was, uh, so I've got this tipped up on the left hand side on a uh, baking tray that I stole from the kitchen. The oil's still running out. I used a um, syringe to suck the oil out of here into the bucket there. I'm going to have to have another go in a minute as that level rises. This is the low point on this corner. And then I'm going to remove the strainer and the sump plug and the oil filter cover just to have a look at what I find where there's metal in the oil. The oil itself seems pretty runny. I think this oil wet area here is because it was resting on that when it was down on the cardboard here before after the first spill unexpected spill anyway I'll uh, keep sucking and uh, then take those covers off well it's probably pretty unconventional how I've drained the oil from this engine I've taken the screen cover off and there's nothing visible caught in that screen without cleaning anything I've got the catch sump here and this is how I have found it this is the first dip into it I'm not seeing any metal jumping out at me piece of something there but it's not doesn't feel like it's metallic. Right, I'm gonna to have to do a 
autopsy on this oil. There's another piece of something there, but it's not it's not uh, metal from what I can determine. It's I think it's something soft. This black material in here is probably just clutch material that's worn over time. Pretty much clean as a whistle in the upper part of that. I don't think there was any surprises down the, uh, the oil filter as well. That's how much oil I've collected in a two litre container so far from my uh, drip tray. Uh, I'm going to suck a bit more out of that and start cleaning up the bottom of this engine. If it's only a crankshaft seal on the recall starter, then we've got pretty high hopes that this engine won't need to come apart. So at the end of the day, I've got my engine set up in my engine jig. This is a handlebar to mount the throttle and the choke and the run stop switch on. The engine isn't very clean, had loads of shit on it, it still has. I've used wire brushes on some things, I've missed a whole lot around there I noticed just now. Things I've discovered today is there's a massive oil leak from behind this recoil starter cup which indicates that the oil seal on the crankshaft is non-existent virtually. The amount of oil it poured out of there when I just turned it on its side was horrific. It's an explanation as to why there was oil thrown up all over the top of this motor, which is something I haven't seen. There's oil dripping down the side here that I haven't wiped up. While that was laying on its side, this probably got flooded with oil. As I said, a little bit of a wire brush in areas on it, but clutch side. I've had the uh, oil filter out and the strainer out. The oil that's running out of it, I think in the end, there's had to be at least two and a half litres of oil in, in it. No metal fragments to speak of, so that's got to be a good thing. I'm going to get a new crankshaft seal, hook up the wiring loom. Hey, this is a bit more fun. Get out to your shed.